So I'm Michael Mazzola, and I am the Executive Director of the Energy Production and Infrastructure Center, or EPIC, here at the University of North Carolina, Charlotte. And I'm also a professor of electrical and computer engineering. The topic of sustainable energy is, in my opinion, the single defining topic of the 21st century. The reason why we have a sustainable energy class in the College of Engineering is because it's engineers working in the energy sector, and the, uh, in particular the electric power sector, that are going to implement a sustainable energy future. So in the fall of 2021, a landmark law was passed in North Carolina that brought all of that global energy transformation right home to all of us in North Carolina. What House Bill 951 said was that North Carolina and its electrical utilities will be carbon neutral by 2050, and it will be the law of North Carolina. We knew that the bill required Duke Energy to produce a plan for a future electrical supply system in which the CO2 emissions would be reduced by 70% by 2035 and be net carbon neutral by 2050. So what we asked the students to do was be Duke Energy. And we gave them the tools, we showed them how to, to use tools, some of which were actually provided to us by Duke Energy. They were the tools Duke Energy was using. So we, we uh, broke the, uh, the class up into a number of groups and we actually had a competition in which um, the students were required to meet the requirements of the law. We asked the question, gee, if you, if you meet those requirements, 70% reduced by 2035, the team that does it at the lowest total cost gets the prize. At first, the students were a little wary about that, but then natural competitive uh, uh, inclinations kicked in and we all had a great time. The energy transformation is the singular social, economic, political, and technical challenge of this century. And that means it's going to be an extremely exciting, fun job. Every day you're going to be able to come in and you're going to be dealing with technologies, some of which don't even exist yet, and you're going to uh, be asked to participate in creating those technologies. And when you do it, you're going to be doing it with a group of highly motivated people. You'll be working on this transformation. It's not business as usual. It's not going to be a boring job. It's not going to be the same thing every day. Every day is going to be a new challenge. And, and that's why I think this is the time for young people um, or old people alike to uh, consider a career in energy. There are many, many different engineering or technology-based solutions to the ultimate goal of achieving a sustainable energy economy globally.